In this video I will talk and explain LIN communication protocol, particularly Nissan Leaf LIN communication between BTC heater and the climate control unit. Please note that all information in this video only applies to Nissan Leaf made in 2011 and 2012. Uh, later vehicles use different kind of PTC heaters and heat pumps, so I'm not sure what communication protocols they use. So what LIN stands for? Uh, what LIN stands for Local Interconnect Network. Uh, in other words, this is a communication network between different components which only use single wire for communication. Every LIN network has one master device and can have multiple slave devices. On the Nissan LEAF we only got one master, that's climate control unit, and one slave, that's a PTC heater. Communication is always in, I initiated by master. Uh, which starts communication by sending a break, uh, synchronizing signal and identify a byte. After this is either da data from uh, data bytes fr uh, follows from master or response data is sent from slave device. So let's have a look what uh, messages we got on Nissan, Le uh, Nissan Leaf Linbus. This is Linbus log from a leaf with the failing PTC heater, uh, which is not working if activated while vehicle is in ready to drive state, uh, but works perfectly fine if fault codes are deleted and PTC heater is activated remotely by smart smartphone app. So let's have a look what messages we got while vehicle BTC heater gets activated by app. As you see, first message we got has ID 3B and car carries 8 data bytes fr from climate control unit. Uh, keep your attention to the third byte uh, on 3B message. Uh, next message has ID 24, which has no da uh, data bytes yet. That means this message is asking for slave response. Uh, but slave device is clearly not ready yet. So let's uh, go to few next messages and see if there is any difference between them. As you see, same two messages are repeated all the time. And now we can see that message 24 has changed. It carries four data bytes from PTC heater. Uh, let's move a bit further. Now we can see that 3B message has changed also. Third byte changed uh, from zero to one. I will explain what this byte does. This is a climate control power request to PTC heater. I guess every bit change represents about 63 watts of power. Uh, as we go forward we can see that now we get similar response on message with ID 24. Second data byte is increasing slowly. My guess is that this is a PTC heater response of actual power used at that moment. So once I identified uh, the control byte and the response byte, uh, I made a simple Arduino-based uh, LIN controller, which will allow people to switch on or off PTC heater without using original control unit uh, from Nissan Leaf. 
I know people using old Nissan Leaf bits for converting their own old non-electric vehicles to electric ones. I even got few emails asking if I'm interested in doing such thing as a reverse engineering laden bus. So here we are. All info of how to build such a controller and code for Arduino you can find on my website. Uh, you will find the link in the description below. Another thing that I'm working on is to incorporate this LIN controller into my CANA display project. Basically this will allow people to use the repaired PTC heaters. For example if you remove some failed PTC elements from heater it will not be activated by climate control unit uh, as the internal resistance of PTC heater is monitored and fault code will be triggered. Strangely enough, uh, if we ignore this fault code and send requests to switch the heater on, it will switch on. So here you can see my CANA display. Uh, another project which uh, communicates with CANBUS and displays some data on the screen. Uh, I also uh, testing the file for LIN controller on the same project. So. I will show you how it works and what it does. So as you see, first we need to go into the ready to drive state. And now if I press to change the screen, we got the fifth screen, which is a LIN controller screen. I will quickly explain what every symbol means. As you see, the first uh, symbol is on or off. This symbol uh, represents if there was a request to switch the heater on or uh, if it's switched off. Uh, at the moment, it's, it's showing off. The next one is a TX. That's a, a third data byte uh, going from control uh, clim climate control unit uh, which represents the requested power from PTC heater and RX uh, represents the second uh, byte that comes from PTC heater which represents the actual power at that moment so on a second line you can see the one digit just ignore it that's for developing purposes the one uh, the next one is a cl um, and currently displays one that's a coolant temperature uh, it's quite cold outside so we only got one degree of Celsius temperature outside so that's why it's showing one and the next one is in that means um, it's inside temperature which is three degrees of Celsius okay so if I try to activate it while the heater is switched off it won't allow me to activate the PTC heater it will go on and will change to off so if I switch the heater on now I can activate the PTC heater by pressing the second button As you see the TX and RX changing, that means the request is sent and there is some response going back from PTC heater. If I switch the climate control off, that will automatically switch uh, the PTC heater off. I 
we'll switch it on again. As you see, the coolant temperature is increasing slowly and the inside temperature is increasing slowly also. That means that PTC heater is working. Let's change the display to see how much power the PTC heater uses. So the LIN bus from PTC heater is completely disconnected from uh, climate control unit and is just connected to my CANA display which is then connected to the CAN bus. I will show you where is the easiest place to get to the LIN bus and to cut it You have to remove the center console and just pull it and it should unclip. If you look to the climate control uh, connector, you probably will be able to spot uh, where I cut the LIN bus, that's a light blue wire so I guess this is the easiest place to get to the LIN bus and to do some modifications okay, let's put that thing back on As you see the heat is still still going. Okay, I will explain why I'm trying to incorporate LIN controller to the CANA project. First of all, there are some people, including myself, who installed additional diesel heater in the Nissan Leaf and this will allow to prevent the PTC heater from switching on then it's not needed another thing there was some complaints from people who tried to fix the failed PTC heaters uh, that after doing this they still could not get it to work uh, and the fault code 2770 was still present uh, this fault code is triggered when internal high voltage circuit resistance is not as expected uh, this could happen if you have failing PTC elements inside or if you already removed one. So this controller will allow to bypass this fault code and activate PTC heater. Uh, make sure you use it only on a already fixed PTC heater, otherwise you're risking to do more damage, uh, which is probably will be beyond the repair. So. I hope you found this uh, information useful. Uh, check my website if you want to build one. And uh, have a nice day. Thanks.